Thank you very much, Sharon. And here in the paddock area, the Breeders' Crown horses are moving in. The man who came up with the ideal for the Breeders' Crown and has put it into effect has been a man who has contributed very much to the sport of harness racing. He is Fred Van Lennep, owner of Castleton Farm. And let's meet him now. Well, I, I believe that uh, the concept of the Breeders' Crown in uh, bringing the breeders together, which is the first time we really come together completely to uh, sponsor a series of races and this idea of, of presenting the best horses throughout the country. I think this has achieved a great deal in bringing the uh, industry and all phases of the sport together, not only the breeders, but the trainers and the drivers and the owners, because we have accomplished, I think, a great deal in presenting the best horses and the finest horses in uh, various locations and giving the drivers and trainers and the public a chance to see the best horses and us and some of the horses to prove that they are the best horses which they didn't have the opportunity before. Finally I think that the exposure that we've been getting on uh, the TV is the start of what I hope with it and always felt should be done and that is that I, I want to somehow bring to the people of the country the fun and pleasure and uh, interest in harness racing to educate them through their own pictures at home which I know they haven't been exposed to and what I feel is one of the most interesting and uh, vital sports and fun sports in the country and if we do this then I think we'll accomplish our purpose and that's what we're going to do in the next few years. 1963, the Castleton Cannonball Speedy Scott won the Triple Crown. That was also the year Van Lennep built Pompano Park, providing horsemen with a winter racing and training facility. Many of the horses here now are progeny of the great stallions at Castleton. Through its foundation sires, uh, Speedy Scott, uh, Race Time, and Brett Hanover has uh, influenced a great many of the winners that are now, uh, that this year have become Breeders' Crown champions. Uh, Castleton, uh, I think by its position in the uh, breeding industry has been able to get uh, the breeders together and help promote the race and this has been very beneficial to all of us. The uh, Pompano of course uh, came about as a means of having winter racing in Florida and uh, we started the track uh, in 1963 uh, uh, and uh, I think this is a great culmination of uh, bringing back to Florida the best horses in the United States race in this race tonight. Van Lennep and his people are also planning for expansion in the 1985 Breeders' Crown Series. We now anticipate that uh, we will have a, uh, a group of races for four-year-olds and up. We think that the aged horses, uh, as we grow into the program and they, we can get their stallions, uh, progeny, uh, the, st the stallions will be nominated and their progeny will then uh, be able to race in the age groups and we think this will uh, further uh, promote the best horses to keep racing and not have so many horses retired from the track but go on and race uh, throughout the country. Well, Castleton's already been successful in the series. They, the owners are part owners of Conifer, the uh, winning filly in the two-year-old filly trot, breeders of three of the horses in tonight's race, including Holy Arnie, who's going to be among the favorites. So, big contributors to the sport. Well, and certainly Mr. Van Lennep, who's been in the forefront of many movements uh, in racing in his whole career, and, uh, you know, as a pioneer, really, in Florida, brought harness racing here, where the thoroughbreds have operated successfully for many years. Uh, obviously, Mr. Van Lennep has been commended for his leadership in getting this series even off the ground. Well, it's certainly been a success success so far and there's a wonderful race still ahead in fact two eliminations and then the final of the uh, final event in the Breeders Crown Series the three-year-old Colt Trot